Yo guys what's going on and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the invisible torso in GTA Fire Online. So guys if you do go on to like today's video please do consider subscribing to the channel and also liking today's video and also comment uh, first to have a shout out next video as you can see the people on screen now so shout out to the notification squad and the people who are first to my videos. So guys to start this glitch off all you need to do is make sure you have any form of colored joggers so you need some you need some joggers with the invisible ankles so make sure you do have some joggers if you don't know what color joggers you want or how to get them go on to my channel and I've uploaded four videos on the topic so go check one of them out so once you've got the joggers guys head over to any clothing store and all you need to do from there is go down to swap character So once you load in guys, you should see that your main character is on the left and your female character is on the right. So guys, you do need this amount of money on the screen now for this glitch, so make sure you do have that deposited into your bank. From there guys, you just need to go one to the right, so not your main character, your left character. And then all you need to do is click X on them, so make sure it is a woman. If it isn't a woman, I'll show you how to swap it to one now. So wait till it loads in, accept any alert that comes up. And then all you need to do now is change the gender to female if it isn't already or if it is just all you need to do is save the character and give it a random name it doesn't matter because you'll be later deleting this character in the glitch. So once you've taken the picture guys and loaded in, you need to go to any clone store on the map. So if a icon does not show for any clone stores, you just need to find a new session as it is a bug. From there, you try to uh, try to get there quickly because if it is a griefing session, you will need to get there quickly or put yourself in passive mode. From there, you just need to go over to accessories, earrings and make sure all the earrings are unequipped. Try not to have any accessories other than earrings or anything else equipped as it will ruin the glitch. From there, go over to gloves, scroll down to number 50 and then click confirm and purchase from there go over to any shoes so go over to the shoes shoes go on to boots and then you need to scroll down until you get to the pink cowboy boots so make sure you do purchase these guys and go ahead and purchase them now So once you've found them guys, they should be number 51 I believe, and then go ahead and purchase them. Now you do need to be changing the clothing, so uh, you do need to be swapping the pants, so go over to the sports pants and buy the first one which should be the spotted muscle pants, so go ahead and purchase those. Then once you purchase them, you do need to go over to the clothing, go uh, keep scrolling down until you get to sports t-shirts. So guys, you will need um, that number of money on the screen now, so if you haven't already got that in your bank account, before you start this glitch, please do from there you should find sports tops and then scroll up until you find the white mixed baseball tee from there you just need to buy it and now go back onto tops and you do need to go onto leather jacket so you do need to buy a blue jacket so make sure it is the exact same one as I do and everything I buy you need to buy guys so keep scrolling down until you get to number 32 I believe and go ahead and purchase that once you purchase that guys you do need to go over to the front desk and now you just need to save the outfit on the second slot so call it whatever you want but I'm going to call my race so I definitely know what outfit it is so once you've done that you should have it confirmed saved and now you need to go over to the second outfit so guys just to start this second outfit you do need to be purchasing more items so definitely make sure if you haven't already got some extra cash in your bank so you do need to start this glitch off um, with the second outfit is go over to the gloves again and swap it to the light woodland tactical which should be number four down on the gloves make sure it is the woodland tactical you're buying guys from there go over to the clothing go on to tactical jackets and buy the last one which should be number 79, 79 out of 79 from there you do need to scroll down until you get to the bikinis and make sure you purchase the black bikini because this won't be making the invisible torso so go ahead and find the black bikini which should be 27 and then go ahead and purchase it and it shouldn't be a lot of money so go ahead and find it and purchase it from there guys that's the second outfit you're making so there's only one more so now you just need to save it to the second slot down and call this one grey one so the names do help guys when you're switching outfits for the glitch so make sure you call these um 
the colour coordinated or number coordinated. From there guys, once you've named it grey one, just go back over to the tops and now you'll be buying, I believe it is called the gun running tee. So make sure you go ahead and buy the gun running tee, but just before you do that, go on to work jackets and buy number 9 out of 17, which should be the key. Uh, peach camo jacket from there once you bought that scroll down until you get to the gun running t-shirts and then now you need to buy the very last one 60 out of 60 which should be the blue digital t-shirt from there guys they're the outfits you need to be purchasing so as you can see your outfit should save and all you need to do now is save it to the third slot down the fourth slot down sorry so you should have the race in the first one great uh gray one in the second one and then obviously in the third one you need that outfit from there make sure the outfits that you are wearing are the exact same as mine and all you need to do now is go onto your interaction menu and take the easy way out which means it will save the game for you otherwise the outfits will not render from there once you load in you do need to start up a creator so if you don't know how to do that go onto your online cl uh, scroll down till you get to creator and start one up Once you load in, you need to go onto race, land race, uh, go onto race details, and you can name it and uh, put the description and the picture of whatever you want. So you, it can be random letters or whatever you want, guys. So once you've done that, you do need to go onto maximum plays and change it to three. Then make the race type point to point, and that's all you need to do. From there, you need to go over to the airport by going onto your map. Once you're in, guys, go onto race details and then put the uh, place triggerments down so you need to stretch the race out one mile long so if you don't know how to do that place the main trigger down and then just put the checkpoint which uh, you can see on the bottom right it will go up in numbers so you need it to be exactly one mile long so go ahead and make it one mile long otherwise it will not let you test the race Once you spawn in guys in the car you do need to go down to test and all you need to do now is go to the very end and try to go through every checkpoint otherwise you, it won't work. So if you miss a checkpoint you just need to go ahead and go back to it. So make sure you try to finish the race quite quickly otherwise it might kick you out if you stay in it too long. So once you get to the end it should come up with an alert. So if you see the alert do not click uh, square or retry. All you need to do is confirm the alert. Once you've confirmed the alert go on to options, scroll across until you get to online and then go on to swap character. Once you load in guys, you should see your second character is on the right. All you need to do then is go ahead and delete it and make sure it is your second character. So the woman character you've just been editing, you are deleting. From there, once you delete it, you should see a new character has spawned in and your main character is still to the left. All you need to do now guys is make sure you don't go directly to online and make sure you go to uh, GTA 5 offline by clicking circle onto your character. Once you load in, you just need to go on to options, scroll down, uh, scroll across to online, then scroll down to invite only and make sure you start up an invite only session. From there, go to any clothing store on the map, guys, like you did before, and make sure you do save your joggers, so the outfit, uh, the pants that you, you're going to be wearing is slot 10 out of 20. So go ahead and call it whatever you want, I'm going to call my jogs. From there, you need to start up a uh, crooky cop, so if you don't know how to do that, go on to options, online and then go down to play job and make sure it's a rockstar created from there go to versus and scroll down until you get to crooked cop and go ahead and start one up but don't worry guys no randoms will join as you are in a invite only session from there you do need to change the options so scroll down to clothing change the options to play around go on to confirm settings scroll down to friends or invite a friend or some randoms once your friend is in all you need to do is click play and it should launch the session Once you load in guys, you should see that the outfit's owned. You do need to scroll it from your current outfit, which should just be the t uh, joggers and nothing else. One to the right to race. Make sure it's only one to the right, which changes it to race. And as you can see, it glitches this top on and puts a logo onto your pants. Once you've done that, go over to the accessories, go over to gear, and make sure you equip the 
any earpiece and it isn't a rebreather so it can be any piece of gear except the rebreather so make sure you do equip an earpiece from there once you've done that go over to this location just follow my steps and now you just need to double check that the um a piece is still equipped and hasn't accidentally disappeared. Once you've done that, leave the job via your phone and then all you need to do is click confirm. Once you've done that, run over to the Suburban store and make sure you follow these steps. So the first one is take off the earpiece. So it should say the outfit, which should be still on now. So make sure you unequip the earpiece and then go over to the accessories in the store. Make sure to go down to gloves and make sure you buy number 42 which should be the race gloves once you bought them just do the same thing as last time so go on to online jobs play job rockstar created and start to pay crooked cop so it is the pretty much same as last time make sure the player owned costumes or clothing is set to player owned and not themed or classic then invite your friend or a random and then go ahead and hit play Once you load in guys go down to owned outfits and scroll two to the right so go once and then twice and then hit play so as you can see you should have the invisible torso also with the cop belt so once you've got that guys all you need to do is go over to the car and do the exact same thing as the equipping the earpiece and getting in the car and driving to the suburban store. <clears throat> So once you're loaded in, just go ahead and go on to gear, equip any coloured earpiece guys, it doesn't matter, uh, make sure it isn't uh, the rebreather on gear, and then once you've done that, go over to the car, and then all you need to do is drive down to the suburban store. So once you're at the store guys, like last time, you do need to check that the earpiece is still in. And once you check the earpiece is still in, you do need to leave the job through your phone. So go on to the interaction menu, double check that the earpiece is still in. Try not to change it and then all you need to do is back out, go onto your phone and leave via your phone. So it shouldn't take too long to load out and now you should see when you load in, you should have the invisible torso. So as you can see guys, you should have the invisible torso there with the cop belt. So the cop belt is essential, but it makes the outfit look a lot better. So once you've got that, all you need to do is run over to the Suburban store and go ahead and save the uh, outfit in any slot, but make sure not to overwrite the other slots, like the race one or the uh, grey one or two. You can delete them as they are not usable outfits, so when you click on them or select them, they will not do anything. From there, save the outfit to slot one or any of the other slots except from one, two or three. Make sure you delete them if you would like to put an outfit over their slot so guys that is how you get the invisible um torso in gta 5 online so hopefully this method works for you guys and it does stick so uh, to everyone who's trying to do the penthouse one that one's a bit of randomness like you can hit it where it sticks and can't so guys if this glitch does work for you definitely like and subscribe and please check out my other glitches because i do lots of money glitches so you can change these shoes on this by the way guys so go ahead and add other things like accessories helmets or masks if you like so guys definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video and definitely check out my other glitches as I do post regularly so I'll see you in the next one Tigers peace